Hello everyone, my name is Jiyeon Sung, postdoctoral research fellow at the University of Pennsylvania and Columbia University. I'm excited to present a topic that concerns a significant aspect of healthcare in the United States. Home health care is a critical service provided to approximately 3.4 million adults annually. However, it's concerning that about 1 in 5 of these individuals experienced unplanned hospitalization or emergency department visit. To identify the patient at risk earlier, we aim to identify temporal risk factor patterns in clinical notes and to examine the association between these temporal patterns and hospitalization or emergency department visit. We conduct a study using a data set of over 57 a thousand patients who received home visit from a non-profit home health care organization between 2015 and 2017, resulting in over 73,000 home health care episodes with over 552,000 home visits. In the previous study, our team identified 31 risk factors for home health care hospitalization or emergency department visit using the OMA system that is standardized nursing terminology and develop a natural language processing system with an excellent performance of F-score 0.84. We then applied this system to 2.3 million home health care uh, the clinical note. The risk, fa risk factors documented in the clinical note resulted in time series data with varying frequencies and intervals. Therefore, we used dynamic time wrapping to align and calculate the pattern similarity of the time series sequence. By employing unsupervised hierarchy clustering, then we grouped similar patterns together. Finally, we conduct a multivariable loss regression analysis, adjusting for a socio-demographic factor, chronic disease, and daily living function to explore the association between clustering in the temporal pattern and hospitalization or emergency department visit. During the study period, about 11% uh, percent of home health care uh, episodes resulted in the hospitalization or emergency department visit. And the temporal pattern of risk factor documented in the clinical note was best represented by six clusters. As you've seen the figures and tables, the group of patients with steeply increased risk factor was three times as likely to be hospitalization or to visit an emergency department visit compared to the group with a documented a group without documented risk factors. This is a first study to identify temporal patterns of risk factor based on the OMA system documented in Home Healthcare Clinical Note and examine the relationship with hospitalization or emergency department visit. We can conclude that risk factor trajectory assessment provides a more accurate reflection of patient overall health status of, uh, over time. Our future plan is to develop time-integrated cluster-based risk prediction models for early warning system to identify uh, identify uh, at-risk patient. Thanks for your listening.